Okay, so here I'm gonna start off by showing you how to use a little app. It's a flashlight app, but hidden within it is actually a tethering app. And what this allows you to do is it actually allows you to override the restriction that AT&T has put on iPhones in the US, which pretty much prevents um, us from being able to tether our phones, despite the fact that it's built into the iPhone um, and it works perfect on the iPhone as it is, AT&T has actually restricted that feature unless you pay an extra $20 a month. Anyway, let's um, go ahead and let's take a look at the app here. This is actually the new version of the app. The current app was deleted. The original app is called Handy Light, not Handy Flashlight, but Handy Light. And the icon is exactly the same. Now when you download this icon, it, it actually changes to a black background, but otherwise it looks the same. Um, and so you either need to already have this app or there are means of getting this app um, after the fact. I'm not going to go into the details from that. You can Google it. You can search it yourself. Um, find a way to get this app onto your phone. And once you have this on your phone, we can enable tethering. Um, so you can use um, your, your iPhone's 3G connection to get what is actually a pretty zippy um, connection on your computer. Okay. So now I'm just walking through how to do this. I've already set it up. So... Um, I'm just going to show you what the settings that I changed. I need to have it set up to run the, the iPhone and the computer together. So, all right, so here goes. So let's, this is the app you need. This one will not work, just to, just to clarify. Um, it was a 99 cent app originally. This looks exactly the same. It is not the same though. So don't not, do not download this app. If you look at the, some of the um, customer reviews, you can see it's fake, 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 does not tether. Please let me have a hidden feature, whatever. Um, um, do not download this app, but find a way to get it. It's called Handy Light. Okay, and once you have that on your phone, then I'm going to walk you through how to do it, okay? So I'm going to set it up here on my Mac. First thing first, what we're going to do is we're going to come over and create an ad hoc network, okay? So we have to come up to this airport item. You'll see what mine looks like right now. Normally yours will look like this. It'll have the beams, the dot and the beams, beams. Um, I'm already created an ad hoc network, which means, which is what gives me this icon here. And you can see this is what I'm connected to, is the iPhone. So this is your ultimate goal, but I'm going to walk you through how to set this up, okay? So, to set it up, first of all, just come, make sure you, if you're connected to a network, it's okay. Um, otherwise, you don't need to be connected to the internet. Just come up here, click on this, and then come down and click Create Network. You're going to create a new network, and you're just going to go ahead, it says Create a Computer to Computer Network, that's what you want. And then just go ahead and type a name for it. I've typed iPhone, that was what mine was. Have it require a password, most likely. This is probably the best option. It's not necessary, though. Um, and just go ahead and type a password. Just make sure the two match. Okay, so go ahead and type a password. Once you type both your password in and you verify it with the exact same password, your OK light thing will light up. And just go ahead and click the OK. Now, once you click OK, that screen is going to disappear. And it's automatically going to change your icon to look as mine is right now, OK? Now, if you named it iPhone, you're going to look exactly like this. It's going to be under Devices iPhone, it's going to be checked, and that shows you that you're connected to this ad hoc network, okay? Now, what you have to do here is create it on the iPhone as well and connect to it so that the two items are connected together. Now, normally, ad hoc networks are um, to, to connect to two computers via Wi-Fi without the need for internet. So if you want to share files or something like that, and that's essentially what you're doing here, you're connecting two devices together. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and set this up on my phone. Oh, my phone went away. Okay. Come over here to your home screen or whatever your settings icon is. Click on settings. Let's open up settings. Now you can see once again, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi network of an iPhone, but you're probably going to say either not connected or some other network. Just go ahead and click on Wi-Fi. It's going to pull up all your local networks. Just look for the one you named it to, either iPhone or whatever you named it here, your, your ad hoc network. Just make sure it's the same one and then click to join that network. This is just like, nothing's different, just so you know, this is exactly the same as you would connect to any Wi-Fi network. So what we're going to do now is at this point, come over here and click this little blue arrow here. Oops, I missed it. <laughs> there it is. And by default, this is probably what your, your screen is going to look be connected to DHCP. It'll probably look like this. It won't say forget. It'll look exactly like this. And this is where we're going to change some settings. Come over here and click Static. And now, at this case, your IP address and your subnet mask are going to be blank, okay? And this is where we're going to change those. So you're going to type what I have on my screen for your IP address, 13.37.13.37. That's your IP address. Go ahead and click Return and go down to your subnet mask and type 255.255.255.0. .255 .255 .0. 
and then that'll set that up, okay? So now that's all we need. I'd click return one more time just to go down to router. You're not typing anything in. I just like to make sure I'm not messing with one of the um, one of these important fields when I go back, okay? Now you're gonna go back up to Wi-Fi networks up here and then click this to go backwards, okay? And this, we're just, all I'm doing is making sure that it's saved, okay? Now it should still say you're connected. Go back in just like we did over here. And then make sure it still says static and that these are exactly the same. That means it's saved and you're good to go, okay? Now let's just back out of this again. Come up here, and go back to your settings. You don't, none of it's really necessary. I just wanna make sure it's saved, okay? You're still connected to iPhone, that's perfect. Now it's time to go back to um, the computer. Okay, now that we're back here on the computer, come back up to your ad hoc network. We need to change some network settings, okay? So come down to open network preferences. So you're still connected to iPhone, this is the important thing. Click on airport, it should still be it should be up by default. Network name iPhone, should still be up by default. And we're just gonna click on advanced now, which is down here. Click on advanced. This is gonna be your default screen again. Come over to proxies. And then here, by default, none of these will be checked. None of these will be checked, okay? You can see right now I have socks proxy checked and you need to go ahead and check that, okay? As soon as you check that box, it's gonna pull up this little um, item over here, but both of these are gonna be blank, okay? And you're just gonna fill in the information as you see on the screen. So 13, 0.37, 13, 0.37, that's your IP address, just like we did earlier. And then the, the port, which is the little box over here on the other side of the colon, is 1337, okay? Make sure you type, just pause this, make sure that your screen looks like this. This isn't important, you don't need to worry about this being the same, but um, just make sure socks proxy, this here, and these are the same, okay? Just come over here and click OK. And then, the very important one is to make sure you click Apply. <laughs> Once you apply it, it should go grayed out like that, and now you are good to go, okay? You are now officially connected, your iPhone and your computer are connected together perfectly as they need to be. And now we have to enable um, the tethering on the phone um, to actually allow it to work to the internet. Now for, um, for starters, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you, I'm going to come to Safari and just show you that my internet's not working. There we go. Okay, so now um, I still still actually doing tethering this whole time, so my bad. But um, now I'm officially not connected to the internet. So if I click um, google.com, none of it works, okay? The maccoach.com doesn't work. Okay, so now we're going to enable the um, enable it through the HandyLight app. So once you have these set up, all you need to do is connect to these networks on both of your devices and then come to your and then you come to your phone and you're going to turn this is how you turn it on officially. Okay, so now on your phone, you're going to come over to your HandyLight app. Like I said, remember it changes to black background. Go ahead and click that. It pulls up your screen. Now, this is what's really stupid. You can see this is what all the app actually does is it changes the color of your screen, I guess to be a cool flashlight. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a special combination of lights, okay, and that's what's going to enable it. So we're going to start with blue, then yellow, red, and then we're going to click in the upper corner, okay, in about this quadrant up here. Now watch as I, as I press that. Okay, so I first launch the app, blue, yellow, red, corner, and then it turns purple, okay. Once it turns purple, you know it's working, and so at this point, we are good and can, we can go to the internet. So let's go ahead and let's look at the internet. Um, click on Safari. I'm going to go to my home page again and look at that. It's working. Let's go to um, maccoach.com, see if it works. Oh, look, it works. Everything is working. I'm connected to the internet. And you can see up here, that's the device we're connected to, okay? Now you have to leave this running, okay? Leave it at the purple screen. You might want to plug it into the wall, whatever. It doesn't kill battery super bad, but um, it does run, okay? And your screen will not turn off. You might, if you have it jailbroken, you could um, turn off the brightness really low, maybe. It'll look the same on your screen. It's really dark on my actual iPhone. Um, that'll save some battery power. Um, that's one option. Otherwise, um, and just plug it into the wall. But leave this running. Leave it at this screen, and then you are good to go, and you're you're running the internet.